Ian Valier and his missing pectorals. I'm just joking, guys. Hello, everyone. Mark here, Mark's Max Muscle. And today we're going to do a little comparison to see if Ian Valier is getting better or is he getting worse. For better or for worse. I'm sure many of you by now have seen uh, at least uh, some videos on Ian Valier and his his pec. Is something going on? His, his pecs are getting separated. I seen it on Fernando Arroyo's Instagram page. Guys, this guy's always on top of everything. Go follow him on Instagram. He's got a lot of followers, and uh, for good reason, for good reason. But anyway, that's where I first seen it, and now there's a lot of YouTube channels, things of that nature, making comparisons, making, showing videos of Ian Valier's pecs, like myself. And Ian, I'm not doing this to disrespect you. I'm just doing it to get views and to boost my own channel or that well that that just sounds awful that just sounds awful but you know what i guess i guess it's true i guess it's true there's nothing wrong with ian he's a great bodybuilder but we are gonna go through these shots and you know if you guys want to focus on that pack this this his cleavage area you know maybe the pecs aren't getting along they're getting separated so to speak well look at the outside of the pack right there it looks like it's more three-dimensional looks, looks like it's popping out more looks like it's popping out more than the the vancouver pro and i guess the 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 center of the packs it's doing the same thing they're becoming their own entity but let's be real for a second pan back look at the rest of the physique now one thing i noticed it is his left quad i noticed the the quad sweep deteriorating at the vancouver was at the olympia too looks like he has improved on that Huh? Anybody see that? Too focused on the pecs? Not noticing those uh, improvements that poor Ian has made? Go through a couple of these shots. And you know, guys, aside from, obviously, the pecs. Look at his legs. Look at his uh, condition. Ian Valier, I don't think that he robbed Hassad Mustafa. Hey, hey, you know my opinions on it. I made videos... Right after the, the prejudging, and I said it could have went either way. Hassan, if Hassan lost, or lost, or if he loses, rather, I apologize, guys, it was because of his big midsection. He was a big midsection. If Hassan won, you guys would be, you know, oh, Hassan shouldn't have won. His midsection was too big. Ian should have won, or Ross should have won. Either way, guys, it was close. Here's a side tricep. Hmm. Yeah, the, 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 the angle's off here a little bit can't really see the the pecs and i know you guys were more interested in that than to see if the guy actually improved ian valier hey you guys give him a lot of bad, bad press but you guys know i've been following this guy i've been rooting for ian for many years now but it appears that i am taking him off my list of bodybuilders that may win the olympia title some year Someday. Here's the rear, the back double by. Rear double by. And there is a definite, um, I don't want to say deterioration, but I guess I've just gone and said it. Of the, uh, in particular, the left lat. The left lat. More so than the right lat. Now, condition-wise, he Ian's doing his job for sure. Now, right after the Vancouver, some of you guys are probably wondering, but Mark's Max Muscle, what about the Olympia? Here's the Olympia, and his back looks the same. Actually looks drier at the uh, Toronto than he was at the Olympia. So if I had to say which version is better, well, one, he has a big TV screen in front of him. Behind him, in front of him now, he's facing forward, backward. That takes the pop, the wow, out of the physique, for sure. Here's the rear lat, and again, you can see a thickness that uh, Ian... Ian, he did have at the Vancouver. He has some nice thick lat insertions. This was Ian at his prime. It was like his last great showing up until, you know, maybe he will improve. But you can see his, his lat, his lower lat. Like I said, the left lat in particular seems to be gone somewhat. Now there was the Olympia rear lat spread and I myself made a video. Clickbaity type things. But like I said, it's not meant to be disrespectful to Ian. It's to boost my own views and subscribers. Subscribe to the channel, by the way, if you have not already, and click thumbs up. Huh? Huh? Uh, 
Yeah, yeah, Ian, he's my homeboy. He's Canadian. And what can I say? What can I say? His, his back lats bread has improved for sure, but not from the Vancouver. Ebbs and thigh. His condition, it, like I said, he was in tip-top condition. This is top flight Ian. So yes, top fl flight Ian Valier. His overall condition, it's going to beat guys like Hassan Mustafa. Hassan, he was maybe at his all-time best, aside from the midsection, but that's the thing. That is his Achilles, Heelys, baby please. He's already thick midsectioned. And that's that's about it, guys. That's the, the wrap-up on this. I'm not going to diss my homeboy, Ian. This happens to a lot of bodybuilders. Pro wrestlers, Nick Strength and Power made a video about it. Kofi Kingston, uh... Chris Jericho, same thing happened to him. Marcus <laughs> happens to a lot of them. Probably more than we think, because, you know, the older guys keep their shirts on. And that's probably maybe one of the reasons why their pecs don't like each other. They get separated. When you're young, you have a big, thick, robust set of pecs. Like here at the 2021 Olympia. Are you kidding me? There was no hands clasped from the 2022. So this is... Close as you can get. There was none at the Vancouver either. And maybe it was already happening. Because this shot here, it is really... Uh, it's exposing of it. That he definitely, most certainly, has a... His, his pecs are... They're, they're getting separated. And the divorce will be next. They will be uh, fully divorced from top to bottom. And the divorce is always hard on the, on the, on the rest of the muscles. If you know what I'm saying. Anyway, just a bit of a joke, in case Ian is watching this. At least he can get a laugh. We love you, Ian. Us fans. You have some haters, but that comes with uh, being a great bodybuilder. You're going to have haters. Especially nowadays. But there's there's Mark's Max muscles out there that always appreciated your hard, grainy nature, your condition. Top flight. And you beat a lot of guys. The flex wheeler type genetics with that condition. So kudos to you, Ian, my homeboy, my Canadian buck. That background of the uh, the Toronto sucked. Looked like they used their spray tan that they used to spray them with. And I've said this before. Looks like they used that to paint the background. The bodybuilders blended right in. So at least it wasn't a TV screen, but I guess it was the next worst thing. Hit thumbs up on the video, guys. And please subscribe to the channel if you have not already. Follow Ian on Instagram too. Have a great one.